Hello and uh, welcome back to Bard's Tale 3. This is Jay Radman and today we're going to start on the third tower of Galidia. So in the frozen uh, land of the, the, so the frozen land of magic, which I don't think we expected to be frozen when the old man, I don't think the old man knew it was going to be frozen. I think we went there and found out, you know, S had hit the fan and it had become frozen by powers unexpected. Now it's a wasteland. Collecting the three lenses so that we can unlock some mystery, probably get to the uh, artifacts of Lanatir and bring them back in a quest to save the universe and all time. Because uh, saving the world's not big enough. Anyway, um, but in all the fighting, we've gotten a lot of experience points. And so before I did that, uh, I wanted to level up. So our, um, our, oh, before this, I went off camera and did some inventory pruning. I just put some gems away and sorted items and put wands I was probably never going to use away. Um, that sort of thing. Uh, dropped some weapons I would never use. I just, I don't know, that sort of sorting through inventory slowly while disk loading seemed too boring to record for me. I don't know, maybe I've done you all a disservice. But, um, I did it that way, and moving on, we are now leveling up. So, first I'll check our warrior, Grisnok, and she gets a level up and a point of luck. I guess the interesting thing for the warriors is hits, so we could see this jump up. Uh, for the paladin, oh, paladin still 30,000 short because she was not in the party for a while. Uh, our bard, I didn't see how, how high the number jumped, but it was significant. Gains a point of luck. 287 the rogue uh, gets a point of luck. Uh, she only got seven hit points. She gets low hit points probably because of her race uh, being a hobbit. Anyway, pro tip. Uh, I think the best race is generally Dwarf. Um, too late now. Uh, Elendor, our Chronomancer. Uh, I actually kind of want to see how much her spell points go up, so I'm going to leave. I'm going to exit, exit the guild by pressing the right key. And her spell point maximum is 469. load faster oh she doesn't level up I'm just looking at that for no reason at all but she's only 100,000 away so she's gonna start leveling up soon uh, Griselda is 500,000 away that's the rest of the party's level and change and Lillian Dusprey is 1,600,000 that is not going up anytime soon so This is not, I didn't want to have a fight. I guess we can check out how much they need to go up again. It's going to probably be close to 400,000 for all the people who just leveled up. Uh, well, no, 300,000. Oh, okay, I went a whole 100,000 over and didn't notice. They're all the exact same value because they all had the exact same fights. And here are our new characters, levels. Uh, Grisnak is now level 40. Your stats are coming along, although still a long way to go to hit the ceiling of 30. I think I said 50 on recording. At some point, I didn't remember properly. Uh, Lady Oakshield is also is still level 39. She's got the 30,000 to go. I can't believe she has IQ 21, that she will never do her any good. And luck 10. It's just sad. I think I accepted two low luck scores when I originally was playing. Our bard is level 40, of course. Um, again, luck the lowest number, whatever. Constitution is terrible. 
and Elena, a rogue, who's the last person who just leveled up, is level 40. And although she has Constitution 19, she still gets these terrible hit point increases. The pain of being a hobbit. Okay, so I'm gonna head on out. Whoop! From the map, the path will be basically this sort of thing out to the front of Scarabray. Just have a short trip west, northwest, north to. Oh, and it's much easier to tell what I'm doing if I turn on all my spells, including the compass. There we go. I don't even remember moving my characters that far forward. Uh, I must have queued up some I keys for moving forward. Here we are at the cold peak, and of course, uh, I'm going to cut out the handling of copy protection because it usually involves two or three failures before success. And I'm entering the ice keep now. The path up to the last tower is in the southeast. Hoping that the spell puzzles are a little more satisfying than the last ones. So these these are our no, this is the description. A glistening black wall blocks the east wall and cuts off ingress to what you believe from what you have seen outside must be the black tower. I guess we already knew this was going to be a black tower. I just forgot. Scrolled on the wall, you see a bright light, loud thunder, whispered terror term, flaming guide to lead the way, Join the wall, then no one will be the wall. So, I think this is a long list. I'm suspicious that Bright Light is a spell, Loud Thunder is a spell, Whispered Terror Term is a spell, Flaming Guide to Lead the Way, I think, is a spell, Join the Wall, I bet, is a spell. I don't think, know if this last one will be a spell. So, let me see... Uh, this is the um, part of the copy protection wheel. And let's see if I can resize the browser to reasonably fit into the map space. Now, I'm suspicious that bright light is not a vision spell because um, there are too many of them. It would just feel lame. But I might be wrong. None of them have light in the name. But, I mean, my brightest light is G-R-R-E. Okay, that was correct. Um, thunder could be stun. Uh, five stun. Uh, it could also be shock sphere. That was apparently correct. Whispered terror term, I'm assuming, is fear. Bright flaming guide to lead the way. So I was originally thinking that would be Greater Revelation, or GRRE, because it, you know, leads us around. But 
I don't think Flame Column is a guide. It, it sounds to me like a summoning. Maybe summon elemental? Okay, that was that was correct. Uh, join the wall, then no one can be the wall. There is a summon, or there was a summon wall spell in Bard's Tale 2. Uh, wall warp we don't have. Phaedra would feel lame because that was the answer to one of the puzzles for the White Tower. Well, that was full screen, which I didn't mean to do. Um, I, I could do phase door, but that's that's ne not right. Join the wall, then no one will be the wall. I'm trying to resize this so you, I can see both at once. I think this is the time where I just read through them. Enchant is says it's about dungeon walls talking about whether there's stairs, but it doesn't seem like doing the wall at all. Mystic Shield is vaguely wall-like, but not really. This is a shot in the dark. Oop, and I didn't even type it correctly. On. I'm just trying to type stone to flesh as if you're making a wall. And that's. Oh, it's. It, right, it's not stone to flesh. Or it is stone to flesh, not flesh to stone. That doesn't even make any sense. Um, fear, wind warrior. It could be spellbind. Like if it's like join. Oh. That was it. So, as in, bring the wall into your party. So, uh, you know, I would, like, make the wall become part of my party, which mean I would sort of have joined forces with it. Uh, I don't know how no one will be the wall makes sense right now. Maybe it doesn't. Um, anyway, on to... How did I manage to position the cell phone? I must have dragged the wrong uh, window. Anyway, we're on to the Black Tower. Which, I will say, looks pretty barren. New region. You know that it seems mad, and you can sense things in the darkness, but you see absolutely nothing, not a thing, making up the foundation of the Black Tower. I'm not sure why that's an exclamation point. I don't know. It's a long, complicated sentence. It's difficult to get right. Um, are we in the foundation? Is level one the foundation? I mean, I definitely agree I don't see Jack. Okay, so the stairs in are in the northeast corner. Uh, uh, no, no, I don't know what I just did, but I don't want to lose all my changes. Uh, and we start out in the northeast corner, and we start out facing east, and we see nothing. 
to the north? Nothing. West, nothing. South, nothing. Uh, okay. And if I step east, it's darkness. <laughs> okay. This is not, this is not super inviting. This is, this is, this is not, uh, this is not welcoming. Okay, can I go back to the west? Well, uh, besides the glacier golem, there. Yes, I can go back to the west. That's okay. Back to the east. Let's try going four more forward. One. Okay, we got messages that were not darkness. Um, so we must not be in the darkness. Although we still can't see anything. <laughs> okay, so um, we're here and there's the spinner to the east. And there's no spinner to the west. to the north and to the south which means there's some spinner in one of these two spots okay it's gonna step forward and we got a, just got a confirmation that the spinner is here because we you know we can't sense it in front of us anymore because we're standing on it thank goodness the spinners don't affect me anymore because I don't want to deal with being spun in a place where I can't see anything Okay, and then we step forward one more time. Oh, I, sh I should go back to the spinner and check north and south. So I can we can detect the spinner on the north side of that and not to the south. So these three don't have a spinner because that's how far our perception searches, and this one does. Last square here. If we face north here, we can see stairs. So there's some stairs probably the way up here ish. Uh, and if we face south, we can also detect them. So there's. I'm going to use the ladder because. When I make stairs up, it makes stairs down on the next level, and it's confusing. Where's where the where the ladders? The uh, the method of scrolling in this application is a little. It assumes you you must be using a track wheel where you go in very specific increments. Anyway, those the the stairs up are somewhere like that. And okay, we wrapped we wrapped back. stairway. Okay, let's go south one. That's also darkness. And can we go back north? Maybe there are no walls on this level at all. If I go west, five spaces. One, two, three, four, back to where I started, okay? So, uh, we go east one space, check north and south. Oh, we can't check anything because darkness, so we can't, that overrides our messages from the sorcerer site. Okay, forward. Let's 
still can't see anything. To the south there's a spinner, we expect that, but it doesn't tell us anything. Um, okay. To the fourth column. Did our hit points just change? I think they did. zoom in slightly here because there's nothing else to look at um I'm gonna turn to the south no our hit points didn't change I'm just a dummy maybe the hit points changed in the last square They prob I probably got drained before I even came in here, and I'm just being dumb. Okay. And more darkness. I'm gonna turn and step south. And refuse the interest of this polar bear. Okay, so we found the stairs up. That's probably the only purpose to this place, is that it's hard to find the stairs because of the spinners and the darkness. But I'm going to keep mapping it anyway. Okay, so going west, we have darkness here. Uh, one more, and it, we get told about the stairs behind us. Because we can sense it probably wrap around. And I'm going to turn back east to verify the spinner is here, which means it's not here, probably. Um. Okay, so I think we've identified what's on this row, so time to head south. We can detect the stairs from here, which is expected. And more darkness. Facing east, we move into more darkness. Oh, stuck. Stuck darkness. My favorite kind of darkness. Sticky, sticky darkness. Okay, um, at this point we have... We're out of the darkness, so we can look north and south, and all we're going to find out is there's a spinner. position that narrows nothing down. Okay, head south. Oh, stuck. My 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 favorite. Stuck, stuck, stuck. I'm trying to move forward and it's not a working. Okay, moved forward. Amazing. Okay, in front of us, uh, we expect a spinner, and we st if I step forward, I thought it would go away, but it didn't. Um, which means there's probably another spinner over here. Uh, let's check that. South, no spinner, south again, okay this time we sense a spinner, which must be here. And here we don't sense a spinner, right? Okay so, south two. Uh, 
west. And we sense a spinner as expected. And east. We'd sense a spinner either way. Step forward once. Step forward twice. Oh, jeez. I was gonna move to this square and then turn around to face the west and then I would know if they would, if, you know, it would say a spinner and it would not be covering this, but hey, we're in darkness, so I give up. I don't need to know 100% sure. I already know that I've stepped everywhere and there's nothing here. So I'm between, I'm assuming that between the leveling up and the traveling and the level of the tower, that's enough for now, and I need to go to sleep anyway, so if it's not enough, sorry, this is a short session. See you all next time as I continue up the frightening, the frightening dark tower. Let me put in the proper stairs up now. I, I do kind of want to take a peek, though. Oh, did I already get there? Yeah, I did. Uh, but my light is off. So this level looks different. Because in the auto map, you can see all these lines. So this is going to be... Looks like lots of one-way walls. Super looking forward to it. See you then.